for six-year-old Willa Rawlings, the little girl swept away in floodwaters in Tano Basin. Here are the facts that we have tonight. The search is going on in Gila County, about an hour and a half away from Phoenix. The little girl went missing when her family tried to cross the creek in a military-style vehicle last Friday, but then got caught in the current. The bodies of Willa's five-year-old brother, Colby, and five-year-old cousin, Austin have already been recovered. But there's still hope to find Willa and hundreds of volunteers have come in to help. Team 12's Erica Stapleton is in Tonto Basin. And Erica, what's the latest? Well, search crews have been doing everything they can to try and find Willa from drones to helicopters to even scuba divers. They haven't found her yet, but the latest update is that they did find her pants today. There have also been 300 to 400 volunteers coming out because this tragedy really strikes a nerve, especially with this community. Five days of frustration. Crews haven't been able to find six year old Willa Rawlings as they comb through creek and brush, extending all the way from Tonto Basin to the start of Roosevelt Lake. I can't imagine what it's like to, to lose a child, let alone three. But people who live in the community are frustrated this even happened at all. According to Gila County, Willa's brother Colby and cousin Austin are the sixth and seventh people to die while crossing the creek. Willa could make number eight. One of the saddest things I've faced up here. For nearly a decade, Gila County has been trying to build a bridge between the east and west sides of the creek so people would avoid having to drive through the water. But no funding means no bridge and sets people up for a risky reality. This is pretty normal for our everyday crossings. Neighbor Mike McCann says this is normal. I was out at this crossing in Pumpkin Center for about an hour and saw dozens of trucks ignore the road close signs and drive through the creek to cross over. You don't want to go unless you have a four wheel drive. Francie Phillips says she checks the water levels and water speed every day and has the drive across down to a science. You need to go slow so that water doesn't come up and, and put your engine out. But she hopes to see the day where running errands won't risk her life. She wants the bridge. If they would get it done, it would make a big difference. The estimated cost of a bridge would be more than $20 million, and all of Gila County's requests for federal funding have been denied. But there is a community meeting tonight here at the Chamber of Commerce in Tonto Basin, and it's expected the bridge is going to come up as a topic. We'll have more on that in just a little bit, but for now, we're live in Tonto Basin. Erica Stapleton, 12 News.